Hello and welcome to the Final Frontiersman. I'm your host Bill for tonight doing another video about the Star Trek Adventures role-playing game. Uh, this time I'm hoping it's going to be a far shorter video than most of my others about Star Trek Adventures, but uh, this one comes uh, unexpectedly. I wasn't planning on making this video, but it's in response to some questions and some discussions I've seen a lot over the last couple of years concerning Star Trek Adventures, um, in particular the core rulebook. And recently there's been a couple of threads and a couple of posts on social media which have dealt with this topic. So I thought it might be helpful for people who want to know a little more information about the core rulebooks before they buy it to um, decide which is the best core rulebook for you. So again, this is not going to be a review of any sort. It's just going to point out the pros and cons of the different rulebooks available. But with that said, um, I still intend to use, um, when it's applicable, our alert system that we typically have for the reviews. There's the yellow alert for things that I think the listeners should keep in mind, uh, something that might be important down the road or just um, something that uh, it, it's not hyping up what the content is, but it's something to make note of. Uh, there are the red alerts. These are for the things that I think are really good, that are really great, and uh, usually part of the things I recommend the most. And there's the very rarely used black alerts, which are for the things, the concepts, the products that are completely uh, groundbreaking, uh, earth-shaking. They're the things that are vastly different and take everything in a new direction. So again, they're very rarely used. Uh, as I normally do with these videos, I am going to teleport myself down into the bottom corner. Uh, where you don't see me reading my notes all unprofessionally because I just scribble notes down on a scrap of paper. And I'll put some nice images for you in the bigger window so it's um, a little more easy to stomach the videos I make. So let me teleport now. Hey, look at that. I made it safely. Uh, anyhow, uh, the theme of this video again is which is the right core rulebook of Star Trek Adventures for you, for all of those of you who are interested in picking up the game, want to buy it, but you don't know which book you should get. Now, the first thing I'm going to talk about is uh, technically off topic, but um, also extremely on topic. And this is getting my yellow alert because this is definitely something you want to keep in mind. This is something that has come up a lot and it's come up a lot recently and also one of the reasons why I want to make this video. Um, this is what isn't a rule book. What isn't a rule book for Star Trek Adventures? You might think that it's obvious, but it's actually not. And a lot of people do get confused and there's been um, some unhappy customers out there um, who have experienced this. However, the first thing, what is not a rule book? What is not a core rule book for you to learn how to play the game? Uh, number one is the Game Master Guide and the Player's Guide. Now these are two very, very good resources for the game. Two books that I highly recommend. I wish everyone not just Star Trek Adventures players, but everyone in the role-playing hobby gets a chance to read through the content in these two books. Uh, Game Masters, of course. Game Master Guide. Players, of course. Player's Guide. But it doesn't hurt to read them both. Now, the reason why this is confusing is you have other games like uh, Dungeons & Dragons, for example. They have the... Uh, what's it called? Let me look on my shelf. They have the Dungeon Master's Guide and they have the Player's Handbook. So it sounds similar, Dungeon Master Guide, it's how the DM learns how to run the game. Player's Guide it are the rules for the players, how to make their characters, how to play their characters, how to level up the characters. But these are two 
of the core rule books uh, for that game. That's how you learn how to play the game. Call of Cthulhu is similar. They have the Keeper's Book and they have the Investigator's Handbook. Again, Keeper's Rule Book is everything that the Game Master, the Keeper in that game, needs to know how to play the game, run the game. And the Investigator's Handbook are all the rules from the Keeper's Book plus additional options for the players so they also know how to make the characters and run the game. It's not that way for Star Trek Adventures. The Player's Guide and the Game Master's Guide are two great resources to help spice up your games, but mainly to give you advice and inspiration on how to run the games better. Whether you are familiar with Star Trek and the whole universe, or you're not familiar at all, you've never seen it, this guide or these two guides were designed to help you role play better and help you get the most out of the game but what they are not are rule books on how to play the game so keep that in mind the second thing that is not a rule book technically is the beginner's game the beginner's game box this does have a truncated rule system it's a beginner's game so it's similar to all the modern beginners games boxed set beginners games that you'll find for most major role-playing games where it will have pre-generated characters inside it comes with tokens it comes with dice it comes with against a truncated roll system and uh, the adventure and it's designed to teach you how to play the game and the game master also how to run the game as you are playing through this introductory campaign so it gives you some rules, but you are not getting the full rulebook on how to create your own characters, your own starships, all the finer details that comes in the actual core rulebook. The beginner's guide is just a way if you're not really sure if you want to invest in the more expensive rulebooks, if you're not really sure you'll be playing the game frequently, if you just want to get a taste for what it's like introduce it to your group of friends play through it get some experience and see is the game right for you that's what the beginner's box is for or for collectors like me who just have to own everything so those two things sets the gmg and the pg and the beginner's box those are not core rules okay now that that's out of the way let's get into what are the actual core rule books so star trek adventures has uh three different rule books three flavors of the core rules so there's a little bit of confusion uh that some people might have uh, well which book should i buy do they all have the same content do they all have the same rules inside uh why would i buy one over the other i hope that this video will help you get a better sense of what they have and maybe which one you would like to buy if you do invest in the game now the first one is the original core rulebook this is the standard starfleet style core rulebook um, that came out about five years ago now five six years ago at this point uh, now this is probably going to satisfy the majority of star trek fans and the majority of players for the star trek adventures role-playing game out there uh, this is, you'll notice when you look at it, it has a heavy next generation visual theme right down to the L cars design. Uh, it looks very much on par with 90s Star Trek, TNG, DS9, Voyager, uh, that style of uh, 24th century Star Trek. Uh, however, while that is the visual theme, this book is designed to run every era of Star Trek from Enterprise, uh, now even into Discovery, which wasn't uh, available when the book was made, Next Generation, uh, original series, even into the far future. This, this is the original book that was the all-encompassing rule book for the game so basically anything you want to run in star trek adventures uh for the most part is built into the original core rule book now i would say that 
the pros for this is, um, again, that point there, all of the eras are uh, easily accounted for. You can run any game in any era. Again, the focus is on Starfleet, but it doesn't really slow you down from tweaking things to run a Klingon campaign or even Romulan campaign if you wish. Uh, the other thing is, well, this is probably what you think of or the majority of people think of when they think of role-playing in Star Trek, when they think of uh, what is it like to play in a Star Trek world. That's what this core rulebook is about. That's the original core rulebook with the Starfleet design on the cover. Uh, the Another con, though, I, I should mention, or, or maybe I didn't mention any cons yet. So uh, the main con is, and I mentioned in videos before, it's not the best at explaining some of the rules. The layout is not that great. There's a lot of questionable issues in how they arrange some of the rules. And there's also a little confusion on how they explain some of the rules. I find it to be the least easy or the least accessible at referencing when I need to find a rule uh, very quickly. So there's a lot of complaints about that. It's well known. It doesn't make it impossible to play. I had the book for years. I've used it for years. I've read through it three times already. Uh, it's it's good. It's, it just could be better. And it does get better later. But this book is a little... I don't want to say sloppy because that's a bad word, but it's it's not organized properly, uh, in my opinion. And I think a lot of people agree with that. Um, the second big complaint that I don't particularly have for it, but I know a lot of people do find it troublesome, uh, is the style of the white text on black pages. A lot of people say it's hard for them to read. Uh, it hurts their eyes. I think it looks nice. I, I think it's beautiful. I can completely understand how it would be a problem for some people. And I think it's gorgeous to read on the tablet because it feels like you're holding a pad from Star Trek. Uh, but other than that, great book, solid choice, the original core rulebook. Second flavor is the Klingon core rulebook. And surprise, surprise, spoiler alert, this lets you play as the Klingons instead of playing Starfleet. So anything with Klingon lore, Klingon history, uh, build your own house, uh, it's or the great houses, the Klingon great houses, this is the book for you. If you want to run a Klingon game, a more combat heavy, warrior focused Klingon game has rules for how to play as the uh, augment virus type Klingons you see in TOS with the smooth foreheads. Uh, and the regular Klingons you see in TNG era Star Trek. It's a great game if you want to be a Klingon. So a lot of the question is, can I also play Starfleet with it? Yes, of course you can. The rules are, I would say, 99-98% the same. Uh, there are a couple little tweaks here, especially in some bridge position abilities and other small details where um, if you compare the two rule books with a magnifying glass you'll notice it says to roll one thing here or maybe roll a different amount of dice in the second book uh, but otherwise uh, it really doesn't matter which set of rules you use now the the pros for this book uh, of course if you want to play Klingons there you go. But the main pro is this is so much better organized and the rules are explained so much more clearly than in the original Starfleet core rulebook that when I do want to reference a rule, when I do want to look up a rule, especially during the game, I reach for the Klingon rulebook. When I'm prepping for a game and I think, oh, I need to know the rule for extended tasks, I want to see, check uh, one point of how to do the extended task or the combat, whatever, I will grab that rule book because it's easier to find the information and I think it is explained a lot better. 
Uh, not, again, that the original book is terrible, but this makes it easier to understand. So that is a huge, huge, huge pro. Now, the con, of course, is there's little built-in support for playing outside of the Klingon Empire. So it is indeed mainly focused on playing Klingon games. So my recommendation is if you already have a strong background in Star Trek and you already know a lot about Starfleet background, you know about Starfleet history and Starfleet lore, but you just want that extra Klingon information, this is a good book to get. And here's what you could supplement it with to make it a little bit easier to run any other Star Trek campaign, campaign, not campaign, uh, campaign to um, Starfleet or whatever it is. Uh, I would say uh, combine the Klingon book with first the uh, Utopia Planitia, Utopia Planitia source book that came out that has a huge assortment of Starfleet vessels from all the eras. It's one of the newest releases, it is the newest release. And if you have that, you already have a huge selection of starships to use, so you don't have to worry about that because, of course, this book has pretty much only Klingon ships, with the Starfleet ships being NPC ships. You buy the Utopia Planitia book, you at least get that, and you can follow the rules in the Klingon book to build your own versions of the ships that you want. So Utopia Planitia would be a huge boon uh, to supplement the Klingon book. Uh, the second thing is, uh, I would say, the, the Discovery Campaign book also. The Discovery Campaign book has a lot of information, again, on Klingon history that has come up during the uh, Star Trek Discovery Season 1 and Season 2, plus a lot more uh, older ships for Klingons from that era, the TOS, the Enterprise to TOS uh, region of time. So you get the Utopia Planitia books, you get the Starfleet ships, you get the Discovery book, you now have a whole slew of Klingon ships, and then there is the online Star Trek adventures character generator that you can use that and honestly i've never even made a character by sitting down with the rule book and going step by step with paper i've used the character generator um even the old version uh, from the get-go that's really all you need you can make your starfleet characters you can make your klingon characters and with the klingon book and those two source books those two uh supplementary books added to it you can run any single Star Trek campaign that you can dream of. Um, Klingon or Starfleet, of course. So with that all together, bam, you have your Star Trek Adventures game all settled. The last flavor number three of the core rulebook is the latest version of the core rules. It's the Rules Digest. I, I think this is more of a middle ground book here because it is Starfleet focused like the original book, uh, but it has all the improvements that popped up during the Klingon book. And again, there might be a little difference here and there, but throughout all three books, the general rule set is still the same. So it's not different. Uh, now, the difference is this one is completely original series themed. Whereas the original rule book, rule book was TNG Elkar's theme, this one is completely TOS colors, TOS imagery, TOS style. But unlike the first core rule book, this one is also focused content wise on the original series. That means the character choices, the starships, all of those NPCs and stuff that you find in the rule book are from the TOS era. So it's not as widespread as you got in the original core rulebook. This is really focused uh, to please the, the fans of the original series. Now, some pros for this is, um, as I mentioned before, it has the better rules presentation, the better layout for, for uh, explaining the rules. It's also a digest size, so it's a lot easier to carry around and and um, 
again reference the rules too because it's easy to take with you if you're not playing at home you're playing at a friend's house uh you don't have to lug this huge book now i'm giving a red alert to this if i could turn it on here uh, the red alert is it also as well as being sold separately it also comes as part of the gorgeous tricorder box set now this is amazing this is similar to the starter set that i talked about is not a core cool rule book but this box set does contain the digest rules so you do get the core cool rules with it you have tokens you have dice you have character sheets you have uh reference action reference and um like starship actions um combat actions and you even have a little campaign included as well so it's a great way to get the rule book and also a starter set at the same time so that tricorder set is gorgeous i highly highly recommend it if you want to splurge a little um definitely really good uh but the con the con that i'd say for this is maybe two little cons first is of course that it's tos focus the original series focus so that might not be everyone's cup of tea and the fact that it doesn't include next generation and beyond material means that it also limits itself a bit in what it gives you um, from the get-go uh, the second thing is the fact it's a soft cover it's a paperback book unlike the hardcover core rule books so some people might be a little more hesitant because they worry about damaging the cover bending the cover bone creases in it uh, so that might be a con now again with the fact that this is uh, a more limited focus rule book again my recommendation would be to pair it up with utopia planitia again for all the same reasons you get uh the slew of starships from the past all the way up to the future even things that we haven't seen yet in star trek picard that are coming out uh hint hint so uh if you get that again your starships are all covered uh secondly again just like with the klingon book i do recommend pairing it up with the discovery campaign book but this time even more so because discovery is in roughly the similar era to tos so it gives you a lot more to play with with that time frame especially if you are interested in playing in that older classic style trek setting so that is it let me jump back hey here i am uh that's all i can really say about this i don't want the video video to go on too long because i am long-winded but for those of you who are um confused and i've seen a lot of people and just not sure which book you want to buy i hope this helps again the original book it was designed to cover all bases the klingon book uh is better written uh in how it presents the rules but of course it limits you to the klingons the rules digest is a uh, very easy travel size great layout of the rules like the klingon book and it brings it back to starfleet and gives you uh anyone who's a fan of the original series a nice tos themed book to have uh and again the latter two books you can supplement with utopia planitia and the discovery book and it'll give you so much more mileage um light year mileage to keep expanding your games and you would be limitless and again everything if you combine it with the player's guide and the game master guide again they're not rule books but you combine it with them you can even stretch your game beyond starfleet beyond klingons and play any type of campaign that you wish non-aligned romulan whatever it is pirates uh you could be uh what is it the maquis anything so combining all those with your rulebook of choice i think uh you won't be lacking for material to run your star trek adventures games that's it that's all i have to say i'm sure the video was still much longer than it needed to be but that's just my style uh style being unprofessional so thank you for staying with me if you did uh if not you're not even hearing this so i hope to catch you next time and as always 
Uh, live long and prosper and just peace and long life. Be careful out there, my friends.